Okay? A lot of what we're doing here at this point is just simply learning the format to communicate. We're communicating. Okay? And we're doing it in a way that everybody understands what that meaning is. Okay, it's a language here. Okay, you guys okay with that? Anybody have any questions on this uh, method of communication? By the way, this random variable is known as a discrete random variable. Discrete meaning that the values that x can assume this random variable are all what? Whole number, good. Whole number, nice. You don't have a 1.5, we don't have a 2.93. They're whole number values and they're finite, meaning that there's just a, a countable list of values. Okay? You guys okay with that? Is that easy or is that hard? Easy. You guys are still on spring break, I think, right? No? Okay. Let's. Let's talk about some more notation. What's the, what does this mean? What do you think this means? This is the probability that what? X is what? This is less than. Is that true? The probability that X is less than 2. So can you guys tell me which outcomes are less than 2? Is 0 less than 2? What else? Is 1 less than 2? What else? Is 2 less than 2? Is, two, is 3 less than 2? So in other words, the only outcomes that are less than 2 are the 0 and the what? The one. Is that true? You guys okay with that? Okay, so here, you remember how you had to take Math 125 as a prerequisite? So you have to know what numbers are less than two. Okay? You guys see this word? What do you see here? Or, what does it mean? What, is it, what does or mean? You guys just had a test on that. What do you use to compute the or? Good. The addition rule. The probability that x is 0 plus the probability that x is 1. Is that right? The addition rule is happening here. Minus the probability that x is 0 and 1 at the same time. Now, what do you guys notice about this last probability? It's impossible, meaning that you cannot have that value of being 0 and 1 at the same time. This probability is 0. Right. I can't select a student at random and have that student sleep for both 0 and 1 hour. Is that true? That's a contradiction. So that event is impossible, meaning that the addition rule here to determine the probability that x is less than 2, the number of hours a student sleeps is less than 2, is simply p of 0 plus p of what? Plus p of 1. That's it. And so can you tell me what p of 0 was? Wasn't that point what? 1, 2, 5. Can you tell me what p of 1 is? 0.315. What happens when I add these values up? What do you get? 0 0.44. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. The probability that x is less than 2, meaning the number of hours students sleep less than 2, is 0.44. Okay? You guys okay with this? Is that easy or is that hard? You sure? Or is it rocket science? You might as well ask you to invent the what? The rocket. All right. Another example. What does this mean? Probability that x is what? Greater than or equal to 2. What's the difference now? Can you tell me which outcomes are greater than or equal to 2? Can you guys tell me? You, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, 
Let me do a, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not yet. <laughs> it's okay. You're allowed to burp. <laughs> Probably the x is less than or equal to 2. We want to do this one first. I'm sorry. Huh? What outcomes are less than or equal to 2? I think we should close this door. OK, so which outcomes are less than or equal to 2? <laughs> What's that? The 0, what else? Or the 1, what else? Ah, so we include the 2. Is that right? What does the addition rule say? Add these individual probabilities, and you're deducing the probability that x has a value that's less than or equal to 2. So what is that? How do we get that answer? Can you tell me what p of 0 is? 0 0.125 plus 0 0.315 plus, plus 0. Oh, it happens to be the what? Same answer only because it's a coincidence. It's actually because the p of 2 is 0. OK, but you would actually add that value if it were a non-zero value. OK, you guys OK with this? Any questions so far? All right. Let's note, you've actually done this before. We did this actually the first lecture. Do you guys know that? What's the language? Well, didn't we ask you percent questions? Right? So this is, you see this less, this is less than or what? Less than or equal to what number? To two. This is strictly a what? Less than 2. Can you tell me? What if I ask you this question? How about the at least 2? How do we represent at least 2? Good. It's 2 or more. Is that right? In terms of the random variable x, you want x to be, what's the relationship between x and 2 now? Greater than or equal. Good. X is greater than or equal to 2. OK? Does it at least 2 mean 2 or more? OK, here we go. So if we have to determine the probability that X is greater than or equal to 2, or simply that the probability that a student has slept for at least 